What's up, everybody? Y'all know who it is, Lost with Jerry. Man, y'all finally get a chance to ride along with Lost with Jerry here, man. I'm on my way out and about from the house. Yo, yo Lost with Jerry, this is what you need to do. Here's the advice we told you in the last video. This is what you need to do immediately. Go back to Chicago. Go take care of your wife. Go take care of your daughters. Go take care of everybody. Instead, you create a world that you have to tiptoe around because it's for the landmines of problems that you had created that you don't want to raffle. deal with. But at least on the surface, his raffles are more legit. Um, that I will give him. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I just heard Mike Ray talking about Lawsuit Jerry and he was talking about his journey over to Arizona and what he got up to in the past a little bit. He wasn't dropping too much information whether he just didn't want to or he didn't have the information. I don't know, but either way, I thought I'd look into Lawsuit Jerry. I've heard the name tossed around a little bit. I've always been interested, but I never really did investigation. Now let me just point out first that, well, let me point out first that I hope this video works fine because there was a little bit of a delay at first so i'm hoping this doesn't lag but second um i got no hatred towards lawsuit jerry whatsoever i have no in fact i don't even have any hatred towards mike ray he was kind of a douchebag originally but um he seems to be putting out some good content you know i got no hatred towards him but yeah nothing against lawsuit jerry never met the guy never spoke to the guy but i am a little curious because there's some buzz going on around him and uh there doesn't really seem to be a whole lot of information so i decided to take a look so let's jump over to Will County. I've already logged in. I'll put the link in the description for you so you can see this for yourself, but I've already logged in. Some of these things may not be the right Jerry. So we have Jerry McCollum and that's Lawsuit Jerry's name. His name is actually Jerry L. McCollum. And uh, we have the ones at the bottom, I'm pretty sure is all him. The ones at the top, I don't know. Clearly there are other Jerry McCollums. Uh, so we'd have to go through and see if the addresses and date of births match and all that. But at the bottom, it's probably mostly him, but we'll still verify. So the first one I checked out, and I haven't even looked at the other ones, but the first one I checked out was driving 15, 20 miles per hour above the limit. Now, again, I know this is not scandalous, but I do want to just go through some things and see what we can find. So I'm not going to look at the entire case, but I'll quickly just kind of scan through it and we'll see if there's anything interesting. All right, got to do the CAPTCHA. Okay, so we have Jerry L. McCollum. We have his date of birth. Oh, okay, we have his birthday. That's actually in two days from now. So uh, happy birthday. All right, so we go over to offenses. We have driving 15 to 20 miles per hour above the limit. This was all the way back in 1998. Again, nothing scandalous here. I'm just kind of skimming through a few things. Let's go on to the next case. I've zoomed in a little bit. So hopefully you can see this more. I've uh, shaded out the addresses, of course, for YouTube. But we have Countrywide Home Loans. This was a foreclosure. And it says some other names there. There's, uh, I think, his wife. I don't know if it's a current wife or not. But I'll keep all that information out of it. we got attorneys for them. And this is by Countrywide Home Loan. All right. So over here in events, we can see that this was a 2007 foreclosure. There it is, 2007. Uh, we don't have any documents here, which is unfortunate because most states and most counties, you have documents that you can see, even if you have to uh, pay a small fee, but there's no documents here. I'm sure we could request it from the court, but really not that important. This is an order of dismissal in 2009, so it was probably paid. I don't know for sure without the documents, but usually when it comes to a foreclosure, the only way you're getting that dismissed is if you pay off what's due. I'm probably not going to go through the rest of these lawsuits here because, I mean, they're just lawsuits. But we do have something interesting here that's an order of protection uh, by Tawana McCullum. And there's another one. Well, you can see on screen. I can't pronounce that. But uh, order of protection, we have one in September of 2012, another one in November 2012 and then July 17th, 2013. So let's check out these order of protections and see what we can see. Okay, so the plaintiff in the case is Tawana McCollum, and then there's two minors, and I'm not gonna show anything about the minors. Their names are there, but we don't need to show that. And then we have the defendant, Jerry L. McCollum. Now there's nothing in the offenses tab, unfortunate. Um, it might be because there's minors involved. We're not gonna see the documents, but then again, with this county, we don't see the documents anyway. Uh, so the order of protection was 9-4-2012, Petition for emergency order of protection. So it says emergency order of protection, witness sworn, evidence heard, for good cause is shown, order of protection is granted, hearing extension is set. And that was 9 4 2012. So we have the receipt for the sheriff, and the sheriff is who would have served the order of protection. We have that it was served on 9 14 2012. They're usually pretty quick about it. I'm surprised it actually took 10 days. Oh, actually, eight days. It says it was served on 9 12 2012. And then on 9 25, it was dismissed. But it does show that it's dismissed pursuant to an agreement entered in 12 D 1777. I don't know what that is. It might be some court document, but it does appear like 
because I don't usually see this where it's dismissed pursuant to an agreement. So there might have just been some sort of extra agreement there that had to do with the order of protection and Jerry agreed to it and then it was dismissed based on that. So that was the first order of protection. Now we have the order of protection. Let's see here. This is Omar uh, with the last name beginning with R and that was also dismissed. So let's check that out real quick. Okay, so here we are. We have the plaintiff Omar, the defendant, Jerry L. McCollum and no date of birth listed there. Nothing in offenses. We'll go over to event. Okay, so the petition for emergency order of protection was heard. It was granted in 2012, 11-30-2012, uh, and then it was dismissed uh, December 21st, 2012. It shows that uh, nobody showed up. Jerry didn't show up, and the plaintiff, Omar, he didn't show up. So let's view the final order of protection here. Okay, so we have the plaintiff, Omar, again, defendant, Jerry L. McCollum. We'll go over to offenses, still nothing there. We'll check events. We have the order of protection. This is being issued 7-17-2013. Now it says the emergency order of protection on 8-6-2013. Plaintiff present, pro se, defendant present, pro se, so without attorney. On petitioner's motion, case is dismissed. So I wonder if, uh, even though they're usually not supposed to talk, if Omar and Jerry had a discussion about it, or maybe they had a discussion in court, and they decided not to go forward. But... Uh, on the petitioner, which would be Omar, on his motion, the case is dismissed. Or it says cause is dismissed. But So let's see if there's any other interesting things here. We have criminal damage to property. Uh, let's check that out. This was in 2014. And that date of birth, 7-27-1965, does match up. So this is criminal damage to property paid in full compliance to 705 chapter. It goes on. Uh, financials, $158 uh, paid in full, balance zero. So this was an ordinance violation in Lockport City. Criminal damage to property. It doesn't say what property. It says uh, sentence 926-2014, sentence supervision, one-year sentence enforced, fines, cost penalties, and fees, sentence enforced. So plea of guilty, village of Lockport present on Ronald Caneva, Caneva, prosecuting attorney, defendant present in person, which is uh, Jerry McCollum, lawsuit Jerry. As a conditioned sentence, defendant is ordered to have no contact with Oh, there's that Omar guy again. So uh, there we go. I got to find out who that Omar guy is, but uh, he has ordered to have no contact with Omar. Matter is continued for payment status. So I wonder if he actually damaged Omar's property. Oh, so city present uh, by that Ronald guy. Defendant fails to appear with payment of fines and costs. Supervision revoked. Conviction entered. So it goes on. Case sent to collection. Disposition, this is 6-7-2017, uh, paid in full, compliance with that chapter, court action, defendant plea, no plea entered. All right, so I don't actually know if there's a conviction there. I think there is based on what it says, but it looks like that the costs were finally paid in full three years later, June 7th, 2017. Okay, so we have some other things here. We have, uh, there's other Jerry McCollum's listed, and I'd have to go through each one of these things to see if it's actually him. I know some of these are based on one of the relatives listed. I know that's not really too much of an in-depth investigation, but again, I don't know Lawsuit Jerry. I certainly don't hate him. I have no hate for him or his channel. I've seen some of his stuff. I've heard about him from Mike Ray. I think Ice Cream Vlogs talked about him. Uh, Build Cabins just did a video. It's pretty interesting on him. So yeah, I got no hate towards him. In fact, I wish him a happy birthday, but I was a little curious to why this guy's called Lawsuit Jerry, and I guess now I know. Um, and what he's been up to, and that's what he's been up to in Joliet, or at least Will County, Illinois. I'm sure there's other places and other things, and if you're interested in that, uh, or if you have some sort of intel, you can leave it in the comments, and maybe we can explore that in a future video.